Tonight, six players are about to play for a shot at one million dollars. Get ready for the most futuristic poker superstructure ever imagined, the Poker Dome. Competitors from around the world have flown to Las Vegas to face off against each other. The most accomplished player is a college student from Rhode Island. Ben Logan finished in the top 100 at last year's World Series main event. This lady from British Columbia is creating quite a story. Grandmother of eight, Donna Milder has been playing poker less than a year and recently wrote a novel. And a big poker dome welcome to this big dog. A property manager from Missouri, Doug DeMarco, has a favorite poker spot called the Bat Cave. We'll explain. From a big dog to a mad dog. Keep an eye on this conservative player from Virginia. John Van Brocklin says he'll get aggressive when absolutely necessary. The player who traveled the furthest is this proud father of four from London, England. Charles Wigander is a CEO by day, but at night he's known as Bacchus Online. And if you're looking for a few laughs, this Connecticut man might be your guy. Tony Braylovsky is not your ordinary physician. One day he dreams of becoming a comedian. The players have arrived. Tonight, $25,000 is up for grabs. And one player behind this door will advance towards our tournament grand prize, $1 million. This is the MansionPoker.com Poker Dome Challenge. Unmistakable Las Vegas, Nevada, where we're coming to you from the historic downtown district at the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street, the home of the MansionPoker.com Poker Dome Challenge. The Poker Dome is set and open for business. The contestants are wearing heart monitors and the proper measures have been taken to ensure that the players will not be in contact with any of the audience. Now it's time to play speed poker at the Poker Dome where the studio audience can look in, but when it's time to play speed poker, the players cannot see out. And with that, let's take a look at the seat assignments. Donna Milner from Canada in seat one, followed by Wigander and Van Brocklin. And Nandis Rhode Island's Ben Logan. He's in seat four. And Braylovsky and DeMarco. And with that, we're playing speed poker in the Poker Dome. I'm Barry Tompkins, joined by poker professional Michael Grotz, third member of our broadcast team, Leanne Tweeden. She'll be here for the big check presentation and, of course, interviews throughout the show. First player to act is going to be Charles Wigander. He'll have 15 seconds to act. You see that clock right there on the right of your screen? And I'll show you the countdown. Players can be timed out. Braylovsky with the goods to start things here. Absolutely. Braylovsky's getting off to a great start here. Pocket queens. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to get much action with those queens. Nobody else has too much of a playable hand. But DeMarco may want to get a little bit frisky here. It's early in the tournament. It's not going to cost too many chips to see a flop. And so Berlovsky is going to take down our first hand here. The doctor. The doctor. The doctor. He's in the house. He's got the chip lead. Booyah. <laughs> This early in a tournament, you know, I, I believe Phil Ivey and Doyle Brunson really say it best. You got to play in the moment, and the players right now they're just kind of feeling each other out, seeing if they can pick up any tells, trying to get into that moment. Blinds, of course, are just a thousand and a thousand. Nobody with anything to be overly proud of here. But Braylovsky has uh, limped in here, eight seven. He figures doesn't cost much to see a flop this early. It's easy to accumulate chips at this stage in the tournament without taking too many big risks. Wigeter, though, has, has raised it up and put him into a, a little bit of a predicament. So Wigeter will take this one down. Well, for those of you who are new to speed poker, here's the way the game works. There are six players, two dealers, and just 15 seconds to act. Each player is dealt two down cards and must decide whether to call, raise up to the pot limit, 
or fold within 15 seconds. Two or more players remain in the hand. Community cards are dealt. The first three cards are called the flop. Then they're followed by a round of betting, where all players can then go all in. Next comes the fourth card, called the turn. More betting. And finally, the fifth card, called the river. Remaining players can bet one more time, then show their hands. In all cases, the best five-card hand wins and takes the pot. Each player can use one 30-second time extension button per match prior to heads up. Each player has one time extension in heads up play. That is speed poker. And that's what we're watching here at the Poker Dome. Six players, four American players, Canadian, and a Brit. It's interesting. Every week it seems to be a little bit different. Some some weeks the players are a little bit timid because of the cameras and the atmosphere they're in. This week it seems as though they're like that a little bit. And some weeks they're just wild, first hand. Yeah, exactly. All pair from Logan, four ways to the flop, and a pair of kings on the flop sets Wigeter up beautifully. Well, he has a he has a barn burner here. Check. He's going to slow play it. Most pros in this situation, they'll just go ahead and lead out at the flop rather than let somebody get a free card. For instance, if a deuce came off on the turn here, that would be absolute disaster. Most pros believe by leading out with your big hands and semi-bluffing with nothing, you get more action that way. And Rockland will fold. Logan taking a long look here, and he gets rid of the 